Swimming is a wonderful way to promote a child's physical, mental, and emotional development. Early introduction to aquatics is best because drowning is the number one cause of accidental death in children under five. A study conducted by Ruth Brenner and her colleagues in 2009 at the National Institute of Health discovered that participation in formal swimming lessons can reduce the risk of drowning by 88% in children between one and four years old. The goal for water safety lessons for this age group is mastery of the swim, float, swim technique to prepare the child for an emergency situation. There are inspiring stories of children saving themselves because they learned this technique or they have been taught to swim to the wall or steps for safety. Swimming also helps prepare children for learning in school. Scientific studies at the German Sports College have shown that early swim lessons accelerate a young child's development physically, mentally, and emotionally. In 2011, researchers in Melbourne, Australia reported children who were taught to swim by five years of age had statistically higher IQs. This early aquatic stimulation facilitates learning. When a child moves and interacts with his environment, impulses flowing through his neurons stimulate the nerve fibers to grow branches and twigs that reach out to other neurons. When movements are repeated, new nerve pathways are created. These neural pathways set down intricate networks that direct a child's higher level brain development. Recent studies confirm the amount of movement and exercise a person engages in affects the size and memory capacity of the hippocampus, a memory and learning area of the brain. In 2006, researchers at the University of Illinois and the University of Pittsburgh discovered people who exercise and are physically fit have a larger hippocampus. More tissue in the hippocampus equates with a better memory. Fascinating new research reports a baby's brain develops through bilateral cross-patterning movements like crawling, walking, and swimming. The more cross-patterning movements, the more nerve fibers are developed between both hemispheres. This facilitates communication and feedback from one side of the brain to the other. Cross-patterning movements activate both cerebral hemispheres and all four lobes of the brain simultaneously, resulting in improved coordination, heightened cognition, and increased ease of learning. Swimming is very tactile because the water covers the child's entire body. Water has 600 to 700 times the resistance of air. This pressure encourages neurological development. Dr. Ruth Rice researched tactile and vestibular stimulation on infants and found that they accelerated their neurological development and cognitive development. In a longitudinal study, Lee Slot Diem in 1980 reported that babies who took swim lessons from an early age of two months to four years were better adapted to new situations, had better self-confidence and independence. By cooperating in a social structure like a swim class, the child can develop a sense of belonging which builds self-esteem and strengthens their social confidence. As swim instructors and coaches, we're not just teaching children how to swim. We're stimulating them mentally, physically, and emotionally. We are teaching children how to learn.